Animals are a single kingdom of living organisms. That includes you, dogs, fleas, worms, corals, sponges, and thousands and thousands of other organisms. And these organisms all share certain traits to the exclusion of all other living organisms that make them animals. All animals have to get their energy from the environment by eating food. A plant, in contrast, gets its energy from the sun. But animals have to do things like eat plants or other animals in order to survive. All animals also move at some stage of their life. So you move all the time, uh, so does a butterfly. Sponges and corals, however, as adults, don't move. They're stuck to the ground. But when they're babies, their larvae can swim around in the ocean. So movement is another common trait of all animals. Uh, another common trait is their genetics. Using modern techniques, we can look at the DNA of all living animals and see that they share certain parts of their DNA together that other organisms don't have. And so using genetics, we can see that uh, all animals belong to the same family. Another thing all animals have in common is that they're all made of multiple cells. So we use the term multicellular to refer to organisms that are made up of lots of cells. Now right away you're probably thinking, well, plants are made of lots of cells, and so are things like fungi, mushrooms. So that's true. Animals are not the only things that are multicellular. But their cells are special. They have special ways of communicating with each other, of sticking to each other, and they can also differentiate in ways that uh, multicellular tissues and other organisms can't. So differentiation, you can think of the fact that you have cells that make up your bone and your skin and your eyes and your liver and all sorts of other parts of your body. And these cells are special and different and can do different jobs. And the fact that cells in animals can do lots of different jobs is one of the reasons why animals are such a diverse group of organisms. All animals at some point in their life are symmetrical. So this half of their body looks the same as this half of their body. So there are many animals that you can think of today that don't look like that when they're adults, like a jellyfish, which looks like a circle. But when jellyfish are tiny, tiny little babies, they're symmetrical this way and this way. Another thing that they have that no other organisms have is something called structural collagen. Now, when we say structural, we mean um, a type of molecule that's used to build things. And collagen is one of those molecules that organisms use to build their tissues. Collagen makes things like tendons, it makes things like your skin. Mm -hmm. um, it helps connect your muscles together. And it's found in all animals, even sponges, use collagen to hold their bodies together. And that's something that's not found in plants, it's not found in fungi.